I'd love to see him do it sometime. So it just depends on when we're all ready to call that, you know? Hey, Ed, speaking of Braxton, do you have any insight on what he hit his head or how's he doing? I have no idea. I haven't had an update on that. Okay. Also, um, Urban just said a minute ago that as the season's gone on that JT and Cardale are a little bit more different than maybe that they were in the beginning of the year. Is it a strain on you or the offense at all to you know, have to be going back and forth a little bit? Is there something to be said about finding a rhythm of having the same guy in there for consecutive week? Well, I think, uh, yeah, they're they're kind of they're different players, and uh, you can't make them the same guy. And so you just have to figure out what the strengths are. It, it does uh, make it a little bit more complicated when you have to shift back and forth. That makes it a little more complicated. But uh, you know, that that isn't the reason that maybe we weren't as effective as we wanted to be or as consistent. But uh, you know, we just have to play better in certain areas, coach better, and just do a little better our job overall. Um, but presents challenges, two different quarterbacks that have two different, you know, uh, strengths, two different uh, skill sets. Some things are similar, but uh, anyway. Coach, talk about the uh, psychology of the game and just Cardell's keeping his confidence at a level. Uh, kind of an on-deck mentality, like, hey, you can be called at any point in time. How do you keep his confidence up or or any of the quarterback's confidence up? Well, that's a challenge for successful. every player that's the next man in at any position. I mean, that's the same challenge we have with uh, the next tackle in or the next wide receiver or whatever is to practice and prepare them and get them to buy into the belief that they're one play away from being ready to go and that they got to be able to play at a high level when they come in. And... Uh, that's his job and his obligation to the team. Um, it's still tricky because you know you still have to do some things motivationally to make them buy into that and believe it. The good news is is that he has continued to work hard and he is a good kid and he is team first. So he uh, he'll do whatever we we need him to do.